to exalt him. Father, we are grateful. We bless you. We exalt you, magnify you. Thank you for the power. You have carried us. This far we decree and declare that you are our Ebenezer. Receive all the honor, Lord. Receive all the glory for every victory that you have granted us. We thank you for healing us. We thank you, Lord, for fighting whatever was against our lives. We thank you for bringing down everything that was meant to bring us down. Be exalted for keeping our families intact. Be exalted for divine health. Be exalted, Lord, for divine provision. Oh, we can't thank you enough, but Lord, may you search our hearts. And Lord God, may you receive our gratitude. We appreciate, and Lord, we say thank you. In Jesus' name we pray, and we give thanks. And God's people say amen. amen. I say, say amen. Amen. God bless you. May I have your seat. Uh, those that are very far, come near. God bless you for being here. And God bless you, Zion Trumpeters. Appreciate them in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. I said hallelujah. Happy new month. Praise the Lord. It is by his grace that we are here. We are in December. And we are not crying in December. This is the month of gladness and it is the month of joy and gladness. So prepare yourself to have great joy and gladness. Are we together? You need to purpose to rejoice. The Bible says rejoice in the Lord always. And again I say rejoice. So you need to be intentional. You need to be purposeful for you to embrace what the Lord is doing. Jeremiah 33, we'll read the all of that chapter. That's why I request whoever is in the system to take me very fast. And God is going to bless us. Jeremiah 33. Moreover, the word of the Lord came to Jeremiah a second time while he was still shut up in the court of the prison, saying, So the word can meet you anywhere. In prison, anywhere, the word of God can meet you there. Thus is the Lord who made it, the Lord who formed it to establish it. The Lord is his name. Call to me, and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. For thus is the Lord, the God of Israel, concerning the houses of this city and the houses of the kings of Judah, which have been pulled down to fortify against the siege, mourns and the sword. They come to fight with the Chaldeans, but only to fill their places with the dead bodies of men, whom I will slay in my anger and my fury. For all those wickedness I have, I have hidden my face from the city. Behold, I will bring it health healing. I will heal them and reveal uh, to them the abundance of peace and truth. Can you use Amplified Version, that verse, just that verse for now, because of our time? Behold, please note that one in your Bible. In the future, um, in the future, restore Jerusalem. I'll lay upon it health and healing. I'll cure them, and will reveal to them the abundance of peace, that is prosperity, security, stability, and truth. Move on now. And I will cause the captives of Judah and the captives of Israel to return, and I will rebuild those places as at the first. I will cleanse them from all the iniquity by which they have sinned against me, and I will pardon all their iniquities by which they have sinned uh, and by which they have transgressed against me. 
Then it shall be to me a name of joy, a praise, and an honor before all nations of the heart, who shall hear all the good that I do to them. They shall fear and tremble for all goodness and all the prosperity that I provide for it. Thus, says the Lord again, there shall be heard in this place of which you say it is desolate, without man and without beast, in the cities of Judah, in the streets of Jerusalem, that are desolate, without man and without inhabitant and without beast, the voice of joy, the voice of gladness. Please note that one, it's my interest. The voice of joy, the voice of gladness, the voice of the bridegroom, the voice of the bride, the voice of those who will say, praise the Lord of hosts, for the Lord is good, for his mercy dwells forever. And of those who will build this, uh, bring the sacrifice of praise into the house of the Lord, for all I will cause the captives of the land to return as in in as at first says the Lord. Thus is the Lord of hosts in this place, which is desolate without man and without beast, in, and in all cities, there shall again be a dwelling place of shepherds causing their flocks to lie down. In the cities of the mountains, in the cities of the lowland, in the cities of the south, in the land of Benjamin, in the places around Jerusalem, and in the cities of Judah, the flocks shall again pass under the hands of his of him who counts them, says the Lord. Hallelujah. Beyond the, the days are coming, says the Lord, that I will perform that good thing which I have promised to the house of Israel and to the house of Judah. We can pause there because of time, but you can read the whole of it because it is not all that long and God will bless you. Praise the Lord. I say welcome to the month of great gladness and joy in Jesus' mighty name. I want to bring the word of God to us with few minutes that I have on our title, Are You Willing? Are You Willing? It is a question. Are you willing? Praise the Lord. Are you willing? Are you willing? The Bible says in the book of Isaiah 1, I believe it is 18, God is calling his people to come and have a discussion with him. And verse 19 is very specific. He's saying that if you are willing and if you are obedient, you shall eat the good of the Lord. So God has given man a self-will. Are we together? God is not an imposter. He's not an imposter. He cannot impose anything to any man, including salvation. That's why Jesus died on the cross and he paid the price. But we have a lot of sinners here on earth simply because God does not impose things on men. He says he is standing at the door and he is knocking. Whoever is willing to open, then he will come in. So there is nothing that God will do in your life if you are not willing. Even healing itself, he can't heal you until you are ready to be healed. Even blessings, he can't bless you. The blessings of God make it rich and dance no sorrow. Are we together? He says, blessed is the man who put his trust in, in God. So the blessings are there. But we have many people who are carrying curse around their lives. Whereas blessings have been released, there are many people who are carrying pain, regret, and all other stuff in their lives. They are the children of God. But because God has given man a self-will, are we together? A self-will. That is why he can't force anything in our lives. So, my question is, are you willing? Because whatever God speaks, he is more than willing to do. We should also be more than willing to receive. Are we together? He is more than willing to do what he has spoken. And we should also be more than willing to receive what the Lord has given or he has released. Number two, note this because I, uh, uh, what I have noted here be before I come to roll uh, what we have read. Number two, the thing that you should understand is that our willingness... Our willingness to receive the messengers and the message gives us an advantage to the right. Or give us the advantage to become the right candidate. Your willingness to receive the messenger and the message. I can come here. I can speak. This word uh, was released to me this, this uh, morning. And... Uh, if you are not willing to receive me, those who are here, yesterday we were taught about uh, the prophetic, that we have available prophets and the prophet that is specifically sent for you. 
Are we together? The prophet that is specifically sent for you. So, your willingness to receive the messenger and the message gives you an advantage to see the fulfillment of the word of God come to pass. Bonus if you're son. Number three, something that you should note is this. Fulfillment of this man's prophetic word depends on our attitude and being purposeful. There are people who are having testimonies of every prophetic word of every month. Very key. And I want to tell us this. Even this month, there shall be heard great gladness and joy to those who are, are, those who are ready. Are we together? In other words, it doesn't mean that there, are, there will be no things that are coming on your way to bring you to the place of sadness or other things that may offend you, but you must be purposeful. What to allow in and what not to allow in. Are we together, church? Another thing is this. Obeying the word, I mean obeying, yeah, obeying God and his prophets is very key. Bible says, obey. Obey the Lord your God and you will be established. Also, obey his prophets and you will prosper. So, your willingness to obey, the, uh, to obey God brings you to the place of establishment. Your willingness to obey the prophet causes prosperity of that word, causes the cause of the word uh, to be implemented. Now, Another thing which is very key, and now I want to pick it from verse number one where we have read. Jeremiah is the mouthpiece of God to communicate what God wants. Are we together? To communicate the cause, to communicate the frequency, to communicate the mind of God, to communicate the purposes of God, to communicate the plan of God. But where is this man? The man is in prison. But still God is communicating through his mouthpiece, through his prophet, what is expected or what he is purposing to do to the lives of his people. I believe I'm talking to somebody. So, it is very key. Because there is nothing that God will do. That's what he says in Amos 3 verse 7. That he will do nothing without revealing it to his servants, the prophet. He will do nothing here on earth. So, in a disconnect between you and the messenger, it brings crisis in your life. Are we together? The messenger, we were told here yesterday, and it's like I'm just picking up and building, although in a different way, the messenger may be in a worse state than you, but he still he is God's messenger. Are we together? The prophet may be in a, in, a, in, a, in a worse state more than you, but that is the voice of God. So if you cannot come to that place of realization and understand who is this person, I was showing uh, my friend here, a lady sent me some, some, some photos yesterday, all the way from UK. And she told me, as the Lord said through you, a few months ago, it has come to pass. She is seated with the white being honored, a bit together. And she is saying, as the Lord said, it has come to pass, I have just been given four million pounds. Because God is not the respect of persons. Are we together? Four million what? Pounds. Because God said it, and this person believed it. So even when I was sharing with, 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 with Apostle yesterday, Apostle told me, if anybody from anywhere tells that woman, you are not a prophet of God, she will not take it. Because whatever God has been speaking, she is not in this country. Are we together? Whatever God has been speaking, she, is, she has been holding on to it, following closely, prayerfully, and God has been performing his word. So one thing that you should know is that God is not a liar. Even what he has spoken about you, if you are willing, it shall come to pass. I said it shall come to pass. The plan of God is, is for you to go back to your original state. 
God did not create you to be a loser. God does not manufacture losers. God does not manufacture failures. The fact that you are not where you are, you, are, you are supposed to be does not mean that God has failed. God does not fail. Am I talking to somebody? Now, what will bring you to the place of great gladness and joy? It is your ability, your willingness to embrace the word of God at all costs. Are we together? Even if the situations are not permitting, even if whatever is surrounding you, oh my goodness, I was just throughout the night, I was, I was, I was praying and I was, I was telling God, God, uh, I just want to know, I just want to know your will, I just want to be in your will, and I was, I was just checking my life, the spiritual versus the physical, and I was able to see Spiritually, I have made a lot of miles. So it is a matter of time for the physical manifestation. So you need to make sure that whatever comes around your life does not hinder your spiritual frequency, your acceleration, your, your ability to hang on to the word, your ability to believe the word, your ability to embrace the word. Are we together? You are in prison, but you are saying, I am not here to stay. I am not here to stay. I am not here even to die in this prison. I am coming out and I will go. I will live to testify the goodness of the Lord, in the land of the living, I tell you, that is what will make you to rise. Are we together, church? <laughs> I tell you the truth. When you embrace the word of God, even if the devil wanted to kill you like yesterday, you can't die. She is here. Can you stand up? This August, you can sit down. Because they have seen me. In August, I was from a meeting. I, as I was driving, coming back to Moranga, I just see a text. Mom, I am unwell. Pray for me. Oh my goodness. I don't know what happened. I was to stand up. I, we were with somebody. She could not access my phone and, and, and do some stuff. I just called. And when I called, our daughter picked up the cock. She told me, I asked her, where's your mother? She told me, I'm just driving. She told me, uh, she started to, to cover up. I told her, I know she's not well. Tell me where she is. So I had to use authority. She told me she cannot talk. She can't talk. I asked her, where is she? She told me she is in her bedroom. I told her, go there. And make sure you put that phone on a loudspeaker. I told that you are not dying. I call you back to life. I started to speak in tongues. And I told her, you can't leave your children as orphans. Then she could say, uh, 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 do you know that time God, devil is a liar and, and, a, and father of all lies. Then devil and struck her with stroke. With stroke. Taken to the hospital. Followed her up. Over the phone. It never took two weeks. Even doctors are saying we have never seen this before. Why? My evidence was one. I was telling God. She is the one who attends to my nails. I was, I was lifting up my, my hands before God. God, she can't die. Because she is the one who understands my taste. That's how she came back. And everything came back. Everything came back. You can't tell that she had a stroke. You can't tell that she was dead one side. Why? The wand of God. And I was telling her, I said this, she could not coordinate, but she was trying to say, I was telling her, believe in that. Less than a month, she came looking for me. How are your nails? I told her, come and do them. So when you embrace the word, Say the word. 
What you, are, what you are taking lightly, what you are taking casually, that is where your life is. And that is why I've come to speak over your life. Even if the devils want them to kill you, you are not dying before your time. You shall fulfill your days. Say, I shall fulfill my days. Say, I shall fulfill my days. Say, hear the word of God. O ye gates of December, lift up your hands. Come on, say, lift up your hands for the king of glory to Come Nina, come on, say every day of December, every hour of December, every minute of December, every nukta, every second, every week of December, I command you to permit good things to come into my life. I shut every evil out of my life. I shut sicknesses out of my life. I shut sorrow out of my life. I shut losses out of my life. I declare I shall rejoice. I declare divine health in the name of Jesus. If you believe it, shout amen. Shout amen. So I declare you shall fulfill all your days. I shall fulfill all my days. So embracing the word of God. Living as per the word of God. Regardless the situation. The word is what changes the situation. The word is what turns your darkness into light. Your word is the word of God. Is what turns around your life. And this is what I have come to change you. That be willing to embrace the word of God. Be willing. Be willing, regardless of the results. Praise the Lord. Are we together? And now, take me to verse 2. Jesus Christ. This man, Jeremiah the prophet, he is speaking. God is giving his program. God is giving his agenda be, be, uh, to, to the people through a servant, the prophet. So, uh, verse 3, I want to pick up, up from there. Jeremiah, he is thrown into a dungeon. Are we together? I mean into, yeah, into a, into, into a, a, a muddy place, into a pit. He was thrown there. But God is telling this man, he is telling his prophet, Jeremiah, call me. Are we together? So sometimes we are blaming God when God wants us to call him. So in your situations, call God, don't call men. Are we together? Before you call men, call God. Before you communicate to men, communicate to God. Before you tell people, stand with me. Tell your father, you can see my state. You can see where I am. Lord, help me. Are we together, church? So, come God first. I said, come God first. Tell God your problems. Before you tell men. So, God is telling Jeremiah. Call to me and I'll answer you and show you great and mighty things which you do not know. Something else that you are supposed to note. Your persistence and your diligence. Your persistence and your diligence in the altar of prayer is where you generate the presence of God. We don't generate the presence of God from our, our bellies, our, 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 our stomach eating and and feeding everything that we, we meet around. Are we together? But when we deny ourselves some comfort, we deny ourselves some rights, you deny yourself food. Are we together? You pray and you have diligence. With or without answers, you are praying. With or without, with result or without result, you are seeking the Lord. You are calling the Lord. From there, you generate his presence and it is from his presence hallelujah it is from his presence where we gather joy hallelujah are we together are we together let us move on to the next to the next verse which i told you uh you 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 put in amplified version because of my time praise the lord something that we are also to, supposed to note is that gladness and joy is as a result of restoration. If you are not restored, if you are still in captivity, if you are still in lack, if you are still in bondage, 
if you are still in turmoil, if you are still in, in slavery, you can't be glad. You can't be joyful. So this month, we are going to experience restoration. I said we are going to experience restoration. I said we are going to experience restoration. The Lord says, behold, in the future. So this one, we are not taking it tomorrow. We are arresting and holding on to this word. Hallelujah. I will restore. You can put your name there. Oh my goodness. God is restoring Florida. I will lay upon it, upon my life, health and healing. So restoration brings health. Restoration brings healing. And I declare and declare by the authority of the word of God. For he says, I sent my word and I healed them from all their distractions. I decree and declare, may you receive health in the name of the Lord. I said, may you receive health in the name of the Lord. Spiritually, may you be uh, with, in good health. May you be in good health physically. May you be in good health socially. May you be in good health even financially. For as you are so prosperous, so you should prosper in health and in wealth. Are we together? So God will begin to release divine health this month. So if you are hurting anywhere, anything was not good, you have been carrying some reports. <laughs> Even from doctors. I had one man of God, he's, he's, he's a great man of God globally, and he's also a doctor, not, a, not, not doctors through honor, he's a doctor by profession, but a man of God. And I heard him testify this week, I heard him say that the doctors, there are some researches that have been done, and there's a discovery that has been Discovered that in the mind of in the mind of a man in the brain, there is there is a, <laughs> there is a channel that communicates to the body. There is nothing that happens. He was he was he was teaching about the power of tongue, and that which has has been discovered when you say I am not well, when you say I am sick, that a thing in the brain communicate immediately to the system of the body that we should invent this person to be sick. Are we together? That's why you should be mindful of what you are saying because your brain is recording to make sure that that information has been transferred in your entire body. transmit from water and will and just go and check it. Let the neighbor be careful of what you are talking. So instead of saying I am sick, say I'm healed. I can't be sick. I am well in Jesus' name. I will never be stupid again. Eh? Even if you feel hurting, you say I'm okay. I am sanctified. I am fortified. I am healed in the name of the Lord. Are we together? Something else that God is releasing to our lives this month. It is abundance of peace. Abundance of peace. So I want to announce and declare all the sources that have been entries of disturbance in your life. Are we together? Every channel, every avenue that has been the source of pain, the source of lack of abundance of peace, may all those sources be shut in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So you shall enjoy abundance of peace. And that is how you will be able to rejoice in the Lord. I said abundance of peace round about. May you enjoy abundance of peace in your health. May you enjoy abundance of peace in your heart, in your mind, in your marriage, in your career, in your business. I make an announcement. I make a declaration. Let there be abundance of peace. Peace. I said, let them be abundance of peace. Let them be prosperity this month. I said, let them be prosperity in your life. Let them be security. So whatever would invade your life from any corner, I declare and declare, may the arm of the Lord, I said, may the arm of the Lord 
protect your life. I came to announce that this month you are coming in, you are coming out. You shall be secure in the name of the Lord. Your children won't be secure. Your beloved won't be secure. Even your money won't be secure. I said even your money won't be secure. You not send your money and it enters to the wrong person. I declare everything about you. Let it land in your life and let them be security. I decree whatever would make you to be unstable. I command in the name of the Lord. Let every storm, Makato Shiataha, I declare the storms of 2023. Let them end from this be from this first day of December. Let every storm hear the word of God and be calm in the name of the Lord. Storms of sicknesses, uh, storms of any manner of attack, I command them, let them hear the word of God. May you be stable. I said, may you be stable in your decisions. Uh, may you be stable in your actions. Uh, may you be stable in your performance. In the name of the Lord. And something else that makes your, 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 your life, your heart to be full of gladness and full of Joy, it is truth. So I declare, may you embrace the truth of the word of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Something else that we captured as we were reading that God will release. I am speaking as a prophet. Reading from Jeremiah, but it's not Jeremiah who is talking. <laughs> Tell your neighbor Jeremiah went. <laughs> but we have another prophet. Hallelujah. So you may not think that I'm prophesying, but I'm prophesying. Something else that you're going to encounter this December, it is the restoration of fortunes. I say restoration of fortunes. Riziki zako zote zita rejeshwa katika jimna la Yesu Christo. I declare it in the name of the Lord. I say that I declare there shall be restoration of fortunes in Jesus' mighty name. Something else that you are supposed to expect and it will make you to be glad and to rejoice with a lot of joy is this that the Lord will rebuild you again. You shall be rebuilt again. Your life will be rebuilt again. Nasema maisha yako ya tajengwa na buwana tena. He will take you to your original position. I said he will restore you to your original position. Are we together? Are we together? And now, something else very important that we are supposed to, 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 to note. Verse 8 is that God will cleanse you and forgive you from all your sins and from all your iniquities. So you shall not be guilty. There shall be cleansing. There shall be sanctification. And when you are cleansed, when, and that is why the Lord has been taught, teaching us here about our consecration. Are we together? Eh? When you are consecrated, you are pure before God. Unakuwa uko msafi. Akuna vitu zina kuukumu. Ukiwa ukumiki, you are the right person for the Lord to release his blessings. So you're not being guilty. Are we together? In other words, there shall be an alignment with the will and the, with the, will and the plan of God and the purpose of God. So prepare yourself. I said prepare yourself. Are we together? Now, something else that is very, very important. Uh, next verse, that is verse number nine. May the Lord help us. It shall be to me a name. <laughs> so prepare yourself that this, this month of December, God is giving you a name a touch. That those who are hearing your name because of what you have been through, and they could not even want to relate with you, God will make something happen in, in the name of Jesus Christ. Then it shall be to me a name of joy. So your name shall be a name of joy before the Lord. I said your name shall be the name of joy before the Lord. Your name shall bring praise to the name of God. Your name shall be honored this season. You shall be honored. Utaheshimiwa. Hakuna mtu apendi heshima. Are we together? Uki, uki, uki eshimiwa, you, you feel, you feel good. Lakini ukienda, everywhere you are treated like a trash. 
you moon. You feel humiliated. I was talking to another friend of mine. Something that the Lord has done to her life. She has been through hell. And now she is coming back. So our victory, it was like my victory. The day before yesterday, I never slept. I was so, so happy because of the news. And I, I just worshipped the Lord almost throughout the night. And yesterday, I was just seeing the goodness of God. I called her. And she told me, woman of God, I told her, praise the Lord. We started to laugh over the phone. Because there is something that the, the Lord can do to the life of a person who has gone through humiliation, who has gone through disgrace, and you are standing with this person in prayer. But as your son. And I, she told me, I'm from this and this place. Let me, I told her, just call me when you're done. So she called me. And I was laughing all over here. I told her, let me just enter into my car because people are seeing me as if I'm crazy. Good news for somebody, but I was, I was like a mad woman here talking with her over the phone. And she was telling me, I remember the first day you called me. You prayed over the phone with thanks for over 30 minutes and you left me. I told her there's nothing else that I could do. Because you could not give her counsel. She was in deep depression. So I was just calling her. And I was telling her, make sure the phone is on your ears. I would pray for that a minute. Whatever was around your life needed that. That is it. So when God does something, it is only a wicked person who enjoys this when others go through bad things. I don't know. Are we together? Are we together? And I was telling her now, I'm so excited. I'm telling God, me too. Eh? Yeah. Do something also in my life the way you have answered. And she told me what I went through. I never even prayed for it. I never prayed for change. I told her, but God, he leaves the burdens to people like us to pray for you. And finally, the Lord has done it. And because you are here and I've been praying for you, may the Lord do something in your life. I said, may the Lord do something in your life that will cause you to rejoice, that will cause you to be glad, that will make even your name to be enjoyed, that when people are mentioning you, they are rejoicing, that when people mention your name, they will say, praise the Lord for what he has done. Right now, I'm praising the Lord because of my sister, what God has done to that lady. Whenever even I mention her, I'm praising the Lord. So people will praise the Lord because God will do something in your life for his own glory. Ah, this month you must rejoice. This month you must be willing to be glad in the name of the Lord. This month you shall testify. I said you shall testify. This month you'll be remembered. This month the Lord will do it. This month joy and celebrations shall be had in your camp. Hey, praise the Lord. You can put Psalm 126, then we come to verse 9. Praise the Lord. And I want to tell you, God is giving you a testimony that will make people out there to fear the name of God. I said they will fear the name of young God. They will tremble when they hear what the Lord has done in your life. Hallelujah. The one says, when the Lord brought back the captivity of Zion, we were like those you dream. So God is picking you from where you are right now. He is picking you from that pain. He is picking you from that shame. He is picking you up from that fire. He is picking you up from that pit. Are we together? He is picking you up from the life of depending on people. He is picking you up from the life of death. And he will bring you to the place of stability. Are we together? He is picking you up from the place of lack. From the place of humiliation. There are people who said you are going nowhere. And for sure they have given you some years. And they have concluded that you are going nowhere. But God will prove them wrong this month. This month. Mark my words. God will shut men their mouths. He will embarrass you with miracles. Signs and wonders. In the name of the Lord. Are we together? 
He will write a statement through your life. He will show the world. You may think I'm talking, but I tell you the truth. There is someone here or even online who will testify and I will receive the testimony. Are we together? So this is the month that God will invade you on every side. Hmm? There will be correction of errors in your life. God will do something that will make you laugh. You will put laughter in your mouth. Are we together? Because he is the shield and the lift of the hands of men. I declare this month you will not walk your head down. Where you are ashamed, God will cause you to go through those places having given you praise. He says when, wherever you are dishonored, he will give you praise. Kwa hivyo kuna watu ambao mtapatana na wao accidentally lakini wewe utakuwa pale huko watakuuliza ni wewe utawaambia ni Jehovah because he is bringing you back from captivity he is bringing you out of babylon he is bringing you out of the place of limitation are we together verse 2 verse 2 jesus my time is up but i must read verse 11 then our mouth was filled with laughter. Say, Lord, fill my mouth with laughter. Hey. Say, fill my mouth with laughter. <laughs> May God give you your Isaac. Isaac means laughter. When Sarah was given her, I mean was given Isaac, she laughed. Even Abraham himself laughed. So God will give you something that will cause you to laugh. May your Isaac laugh on your la in your life in Jesus' name. Are we together? <laughs> that you will laugh. <laughs> then our mouth was filled with laughter and our tongue with singing. Then they said among the nations, the Lord has done great things for them. So there are people who will testify because you will not keep quiet anymore. They have known you as a woman, as a man of pain, as a woman of sorrow. But you will confuse them this season because you have they will find you laughing. They will find you singing. Watakukuta tu, you are rejoicing. Come and see, come and see. What the Lord has done, no, oh, come and see. You are tend to be filled with singing. You are tend to be filled, hallelujah, with a shout of praise. The Lord has done great things for us, and we are glad. So prepare for that great thing. It is not something small. When God does things, he does things that men will see. You don't need to explain to people that it is God. Kitu ambacho unaelezea watu, ni mungu ya mefanya, hiyo si ya mungu, hiyo ni ya mutu. Ya mungu, you don't need to explain. Ya mungu inaonyesha na inadhirisha, huyu ni mungu. And may the Lord do it in Jesus' name. Take us to verse 11 as we wind up. Tonight we have Kesha here, and I know the man of God will be roaring here like a lion released from the throne of grace. Amen. Now, the voice of joy and the voice of gladness. Hallelujah. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness. So when God visits your life, this is what is gotten from your territory. This is what is gotten from your tent. This is what is gotten from your tabernacle. The voice of joy and the voice of gladness. So I declare and I unleash these graces. May they lead in your life that when you go to the place of work, there shall be voices of joy and voices of gladness. When you go back home, when you meet with your people, when you interact with your children, when you interact with neighbors, may there be voices of joy and voices of gladness in the name of the Lord. The voice of the bridegroom and the voice of the bride. When you're in captivity, there is no such things. Hallelujah. Even though they were told when they go there, they should marry and their daughters should be married. I don't think there are celebrations in captivity. Are we together? <laughs> are we together, church? So, from now, even, even in your lineage, hata kama hakuna, hakuna arusi zimaifanywa, sitaanza kufanyika karika jina la yesu. Na ni arusi takatifu, karika jina la yesu. Nasema ni arusi takatifu, ambazo ziko na utukufu wabwana. There shall be voice of bride and groom, and the voice of the bride. The voice, <laughs> the voice of those who will say, praise 
praise the Lord of hosts. Praise the Lord of hosts. So this is what this is what will saturate your environment and your life this season. God will be more praised in your life from this day one than any other day in any month this year. But you must be willing. Are you willing for God to be praised? Are you willing? If you are not willing, it can be spoken, but it may not take place. Another thing, for his mercy endures forever, and of those who will bring sacrifice or praise into the house of the Lord, for I will cause the captives of the land to return as at the first, says the Lord. This is the plan of God. So may the Lord restore you to worship, genuine worship. I said, may the Lord restore you in his altar. May the Lord restore your prayer life. May the Lord restore you to the strength of sacrificing. Kuna watu upenda hata kutoa dhabihu lakini hauna. Lakini Bwana akikurejesha pale na akuweke katika ile position every time you're being glad going to the house of God. So I want to announce that this is not the month of sorrow. Si makati wa kukuja angalia Bwana, angalia Bwana. Sisi wana wako tunakulilia angalia hapana unakuja ukiwa unakuja kuleta dhabihu za sifa Are we together So make sure even your prayer your prayer and your worship life changes this man Hata kama mambo iko namna gani unakuja unamwambia thank you father because you have taken charge you are in control of this you have taken control of this enjoy and that is how joy will be unleashed for the glory of the name of Jesus. You may, you may be on your feet and be willing. Are you willing? Are you willing to see what God is ready to do in your life? If you are willing, tell him, yes, Lord, I am more than willing. I am more than willing. Lift up your voice for two, three minutes. Tell him, I am willing. I am willing to be restored. I am willing, God, for abundance of peace. I'm willing for prosperity. I'm willing for security and stability. I'm willing, Lord, to to, to be persistent in the altar of prayer. I'm willing to cause you. I am willing to obey. I am willing to obey you. To obey your messengers. I am ready. Lift your voice. Reject sorrow. Reject mourning. This is the season of gladness. This is the season of, great, of, of, of good news. Rapakatosha. Katosa, you may not have enjoyed uh, January, February, March, April, all those months. Uh, maybe they were the months of pain. Uh, you are wondering uh, when 2023 will come to an end. Uh, but I bring you good news. Uh, this is your time uh, to experience restoration. What you never received in January, receive right now. What you never received in February, what you never received in March, uh, what you never received uh, in May. April, ah, May, June, July, August, September, October, ah, and November. May you receive, uh, may you receive your healing. Uh, God is promising to heal you. God is promising uh, to heal you. God is promising uh, abundance uh, of good things. La pakatosha, tabakatosha, la pakataya, reject sicknesses, uh, reject sicknesses. Uh, Reject any untimely death. La Pakatosha. We scatter every demon responsible for sicknesses and diseases. Demons that are sent to kill, to destroy. La Pokato. We arrest you. You have no power in our families. You have no power in this ministry. You have no power in this city. You have no power in the lives of believers. I cover everything. Every righteous man with the blood of Jesus Christ. La Pakazataria Pa. I decree our own accident free in the name of the Lord. Demons that are sent during the time of Christmas to cause men to sin against God and to stay away from God so that the devil will take advantage of destroying them. We arrest those demons. We bind you and we send you back to hell in the name of the Lord. I declare safety in the lives of people. I declare the peace of God. I declare shalom in the lives of the children of God.
Father, we are grateful. We thank you even for the video this night. We thank you for the great victory that you've granted us. I pray this afternoon, meet with your children at the very point of their names. In the name of the Lord. Somebody receive your miracle. Receive your healing. Receive your breakthrough. Receive the fulfillment of the word of God. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And of the Holy Spirit and God's people say amen. Put your hands together for Jesus this afternoon. In the name of the Lord. You may have your seat. God bless you so much. This is the time to uh, pray more. And to seek the Lord more. Amen. So purpose. Be purposeful. To be in the presence of God. Be very intentional. Be willing and you shall enjoy the performance of the word of God as he has said. You will perform that which he has promised. Our online church, God bless you. We are meeting here during the video from 9 all through to 9 p.m. to 5 a.m. in the morning. So let us uh, meet then and God is going to bless every one of us. Let us appreciate our online church in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen, amen, amen. God bless every one of us. Please don't take the word of God lightly. Najua ni jambo moja mungu kunena na ni lingine.